I was saying Bitcoin transacting, you know, it constitutes up and downloading from every connected person, and it lacks the central point of control. It's a situation where payments and information can organically flow between millions of different people at the same time. And there are people bent on making this not a reality. During the last few weeks, we've seen how far a player is prepared to go to prevent a loss of control. We saw the Constitution being violated. We saw young MIT students pressured with government subpoenas merely for creating a proof of concept. I saw my personal freedom lost when I was arrested off the plane, stripped naked, searched, and my body violated, handcuffed, and escorted out of JFK Airport while returning home from a trip with my girlfriend. We saw how forced measures and restrictions of personal integrity were used by the police, not for fighting crime, but for the obvious purpose of harassing the ones involved. And everyone who's been anywhere near them, there's nothing new under the sun. And history will always repeat itself. This is not about illegal payment. This is about control over transactional culture and knowledge. Because he who controls them controls the world. The financial and banking industry is trying to shame us, telling us what we're doing is illegal. We are pirates, they say. They're trying to push us down under some rock. Don't look around you today. See how they failed. Yes, we're pirates. The one who thinks being a pirate is a shame is mistaken. It is something we need to be proud of. Because we've already seen what it means to be without a central point of culture. We've already tasted. We've smelt. we felt the freedom of being without a central monopoly of transactional culture and knowledge. We've already learned to read and write. And we're not about to forget how to learn to read and write just because it's not fit in the eyes of the laws of yesteryear. My name is Charlie. I'm a Bitcoiner, and let's change the world.